Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Havoc Charisma. Uh, I'm going to just be doing a little gameplay because I really have nothing else to do and I figured, hey, maybe I should post some shit on the, uh, on the channel. Hopefully get some more views and some more subscribers, so uh, try to help me out guys. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be me randomly talking. Um, currently, we're looking for an editor. We're probably not going to get one anytime soon though because of the fact that we're not popular yet and whatnot. But if anybody wants to do that, just to like help us out or whatever, um, feel free just to let us know. Because, yeah. As you see, we haven't really edited videos. We've just thrown some together quickly because we're going to be doing gears montages and shit. So, um, yeah. I might throw in a few tips this video, so just keep keep watching, you know, subscribe, comment, and here we go. Like I've said in all my other Gears 3 videos, you might not have seen them, so I'm going to say this again. There is an alternative or alternative way to get the Gears 3 beta, but I'm I'm not going to tell you in my video. I need I really want you guys to uh, find it out yourself because I can't really help you out unless you like message me or something then I'll let you know but on to the gameplay um, a lot of people are kind of new to gears or they're just gonna get gears 3 like they heard gears 3 beta is a really good game and shit like that so maybe they're thinking of getting it if you're thinking of get it getting it um, I'm gonna put up a few tips here um, wall bounce because if you're like when you're in one-on-one -on -one shotgun battles and shit, it really helps you from not getting like hit. Or if you're in like a sticky situation where there's like five people on you, just wall bounce away. Makes it harder for them to hit you. Basically, you just go at like a 45 degree angle towards the wall and just hit it. Or you could just go sideways completely. So it's it's helpful. It really is. That's what I used in Gears 2 and not really gears one because the wall bouncing wasn't effective in gears one. Oh, melee me. Oh. All right, so this is a live commentary, so it's got, or not a live gameplay. So if I curse or a little bit or something, it's that's why. <laughs> now there's in team deathmatch, you'll have a certain amount of lives. Our lives ran out, so I'm not gonna be respawning. So maybe I'll just check some random person and. Maybe I'll tell this Mick Chewy that he's in my YouTube video. Maybe he might direct some people. Because right now we're not very popular. We just started this YouTube channel like last week. So let's uh, give it for Mr. Chewy. Or Mick Chewy, sorry. But let's see if he can get a dome pop. Nah, somebody else got him. Oh, double barrel shotgun. Hate that weapon. I can't. I I can use it. Like I'm really good with it. But anyone can be good with it. It's so overpowered. Just ranting about shit, and you know, I, a lot of people have been complaining about the retro lancer. I don't really think there's a problem with the retro lancer. Every like. People are like, oh, it's overpowered. The stopping power is too bad on it. It's insane. It's like shit like that. But it's really, they tried to balance it out by making it really inaccurate. As opposed to the double barrel shotgun or the sawed off shotgun, whatever you like to call it. Um, that has a full screen spread. So as long as you're close, you're bound to get a kill. Even if the reload speed is slow, it's still an easy fucking kill. And even if there is only four shots, that's four fucking kills out of 15, like, respawns. Like, that's... It's insane. Like, it's too powerful. Uh, personally, I think they should nerf it. And, per and you know, I hope people rise against this with me because this is... This is an issue. Very big issue. Um, yeah, so... We haven't been posting two a day like we said we have been because... Havoc Psycho over here has been into the fucking Call of Duty. Cock of fucking doodle or whatever the fuck it's called. Like, it's just shit. Like, I, I, I like Call of Duty, but 
gear like when the Gears of War three beta is out, there's really not much worth playing except for the Gears of War three beta. You know. Sure, it gets boring, but you wanna you're gonna miss it once it's not once it's not out, and then you have to wait four months till the actual thing comes out. Yeah, I like how you're gonna come up behind me, kid. See what I mean? Like, the stopping power is really bad on it, but he missed me a lot. It's avoidable. I should have kept it out, though. Like, I could have wrecked him there. I was just being dumb. Uh, it's because I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. I'm not really good at that. I, I'm the whole silence person. I don't do good unless I'm silent or not really talking as much. Like, I can call out, make call outs, play as a team, but I'm just trying to randomly talk and you know, keep you guys interested, um, yeah, uh, another tip would be is in this game, well, so far in the style, like, the style's gonna, sh like, change, like, eventually I'm probably gonna be a noob for wall bouncing or spraying somebody down with a retro lancer or something, there's probably gonna be some different kind of game style that I don't know of yet, but, um, like, Personally, you gotta stay distanced in this game because of that double barrel shotgun and because of the retro lancer. You gotta pl you gotta play it more uh, safe. You gotta you know unless somebody's rushing you with a shotgun, there's no point in pulling out your shotgun. <laughs> I pull it out anyway just in case I walk around the corner, like and there's somebody there waiting for me or something and they miss or something. I already have it out, but you know. And I like to keep all my other weapons reloaded. Apparently I got somebody down by accident, so whatever. Whatever just happened there, I, I didn't mind it. Didn't mind it at all. Oh, gun's so powerful, retro lancer. It's it's good, like I like it, but it, it's just like you gotta stay a little bit distance from it, and then you won't get hurt. It'll barely touch you. So I'm gonna try to get a another. Retro Lancer kill, just because we have six rebirths, you know. Let's see if I got it. Oh, I missed. Just a little bit. He didn't notice me yet, I don't think. So, maybe I'll be able to... Oh, no, he did. <laughs> see what I mean? Everybody uses that Retro Lancer. That's all you see pop up in the bottom. It's nice, though, because you got to have a little bit of change from the we weapons. Because then what's the point of making a new game? You might as well just keep Gears of War 2 around. Oh, nice! That guy's using the hammer. Hammer burst. That's a really good weapon too. It's it's a good stopping power weapon. It's not as powerful, but it's it's it stops people right in their fucking tracks. I just saw that. Guy. Okay, I'm gonna try to stick this last guy with this retro lancer, or at least get a, like a incinerator grenade on him or something. See if I can get this. So. uh... Oh, he just raped him. Oh, just eat eat the incinerary. Oh, eat it. Eat it. <laughs> but yeah, the incinerary grenades are really fucking powerful too. One hit, like if you get hit direct with those, it blows up on impact, so you're screwed. Another thing is the ink, ink grenades, they blow up on impact. But uh, I might do one more round of the next one just because I'm having a good time. Maybe I'll find some more to talk about Maybe because there's probably some guns on the other map that I haven't covered yet, so... I don't know, man. Um, just pre-order this game. I said this in every single video. Just you got to go pre-order it right now. Just go down to GameStop. Go down to Best Buy. Go down to Future Shop. Wherever wherever you think he pre-orders this game and just go get it done. Because it is fucking worth it. I'm telling you. I'm having a good time. All my friends are having a good time. Like... Everyone that's played this said this is better than any of the gears they've already like they've ever played, so I'd hit it up. There's already a million players playing it, like literally a million. So if a million people like it, I'm pretty sure you'll end up liking it. Or at least, you know, having a good time for a little bit or having a good time on the campaign, because apparently the game campaign's supposed to be really good. Like I've been talking to other people that have been talking to like the makers of the game and shit 
and they've been saying it's been it's a like so far it's coming along pretty well it looks it's looking nice so I don't know I don't know what's going on but but yeah like I said previously in this video I'm just gonna I'm looking for editors so if you want to be an editor and try to help this YouTube channel out and we'll we'll like I don't know if you have a YouTube channel like we'll help you out too like we'll direct people to you and we could be like a little partners you know <laughs> and yeah or you could join our uh, GB team that we're making for gears we also have one for Call of Duty but Call of Duty shit no one wants to play Call of Duty <laughs> but yeah not that I'm hating on Call of Duty it's just not as good as gears it's not as tactical it's just run and shoot a couple people in Call of Duty and this you gotta you gotta play it more safe like you, you get shot in the back you're fucked in this you get shot by a retro lancer or something you're fucked I don't know you get shot in that game it's just an instant kill pretty much this game you have a chance to get away you gotta you gotta play it tactically you gotta stick with your teammates and there's a marker too like that you can use to help your teammates like it's just more it's more of a competitive it seems more competitive than Call of Duty. Call of Duty never really... The game battles and shit haven't really interested me as much as Gears of War and Halo because it's just more... It's more compet it seems like more competitive games. I don't really like Halo anymore because Halo Reach is just killed Halo for me. I don't know I'm talking about Halo, uh, like Halo on fucking Gears, but it's just... It, Halo Reach killed it for me. Halo 3... I was great at that game, but this one I'm just terrible at. Or no, like the reach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's going to be a bitch coming up behind me. Saw that coming, didn't I? Oh, two bitches! God, dog! But, um, yeah, in this, in this, as you've seen earlier in the video, I forgot to mention it. This big billboard, it hangs up there, and then once it starts to snap... Like, you can shoot it so that the wires snap and shit. And then once it's on the last strand, you shoot that last strand and it'll fall. It'll fall over top of the power weapon that's in the center. So that power weapon's not in use anymore. You can't get it. Or anybody that's under there gets fucked. <laughs> they're, not, they're not surviving that. There's no way. Unless there's some kind of, like, hacker, wall hacker, or some kind of shit like that. Smoke grenades in this game, great, great tactical use because they knock people, like they stun them. I'll let this guy have this kill. Just got to be a nice guy every once in a while. And yeah, we're kind of, we're re nearing the end of the round. So I'm sorry to say it, guys, but um, I'll have to end up talking to you guys after. This is not good. I have a bunch of them coming at me, and I'm probably going to die from it. Oh, look at that. They all ran off because my teammates came up and helped me. And that's the end of my video. Uh, I hope you liked it. hope you liked some of the tips I subtly gave. And comment and subscribe. 0-2, oh, terrible record.